But you have to wonder if Britt was just a little bit disappointed. She didn't have the opportunity nice to get her hands on Brooklyn Von Braun. Honestly, I think Red's lucky that didn't happen. Because from what I heard about their audition dust up, Red's no match for Brooklyn. Whoa, Maurice dodged that one. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. The news and Maurice. Elbow smash! Devastating kick! Oh, again! That's how you wear down your opponent. She's going for the cover. Not sure what made her think now was a good time for a pin attempt. She's got her. Things taking a turn for her now. Ooh, what impact. The Miz has been an A-lister for almost half his life. He made his first reality TV appearance in 2001 and it has been a fixture on television. It looks like it might all be over for the team of Maurice and Miz. What is that? I think it's footage from Red and Brooklyn's audition fight. It certainly got Red's attention. And scene. French kiss DDT. Maurice capitalizes on Red being distracted and pulls off the upset. What a huge win for the It couple. Oh, the timing of that footage playing was certainly no accident. It looked like Red was about to put Maurice away. So Maurice and his picked up the victory. I think there's Thanks your answer the on who played the footage. The that was a coordinated effort among those three. Okay, it's always smart to have a backup plan. I've been telling you that for years, Saxton. So I think uh, we're going to the SummerSlam ladder match to see who will get the role of the rank and file four between Robert Jackson and The Miss. But none quite like this where the script for the action film rank and file four has been suspended above the ring in a briefcase Whoever climbs the ladder and retrieves the script first will win both the match and the starring role It's a travesty of justice that Miz even has to go through something like this to get a role that should have already been his He's one of the greatest actors of our time. I don't know about that But I do know that this lights camera action ladder match is going to be a smash hit with audiences and critics worldwide. Saxton, why don't you treat this like we're at the movies? No talking. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Say, do you guys think after this match, the Miz might have enough energy to host an installment of Miz TV? It's the most fussy WWE talk show in history. The Miz with a nice reversal. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Miz, you got this. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. The Miz looking a little stunned here. Not a situation he wants to be in when he still has a ladder to climb. Bringing it back into the ring. Proving tough to catch. Shoulder attack. 
goal. Not looking good right now. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. He's dictating the pace of this match now, guys. Not sure where he gets that energy, but he's looking good right now. Oh, yeah. Trey hammers Miz in the corner. It's Brooklyn Von Braun. Come on. I had a feeling she'd get involved tonight. Do you blame her? She wants Miz to win so she can have a legitimate co-star in the movie. And here's Red to stop Brooklyn from spoiling this match. Thank you, This Red. is pure jealousy. Red couldn't beat Brooklyn in the audition, so now she's taking it out on her. That's ridiculous. She's only out here to help her friend, Trey. And it appears she's been able to accomplish that. Red has neutralized Brooklyn as they head to the back. Cut, cut. There's no cutting in this match. Sorry, Michael. Let me get back to your question about Miz TV. I don't think we'll see an episode after this match, but you know, another one is coming soon. He's been doing the show for over 11 years. Look, every WWE superstar of note has appeared on Miz TV. Heck, even football and basketball stars have graced that gorgeous leather couch on Miz TV. Oh! You know, most men you talk to in WWE wouldn't want to be in a ladder match under any circumstances. Boom! What a forearm! Oh, my right! Man, that's some attitude behind it. The Miz was able to get out of the way there. Into the hammerlock. Oh, boy. Stomping. Ouch. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Nasty impact. The Miz with a nice reversal. Big time slam. Vicious. He's down and out. Not good, folks. Yeah, I don't even think he knows where he is. Moving the ladder into place now. Yeah, but in place for what, Michael? Oh, he totally has good stuff there. Inside the ring now. Using the ladder as a weapon. Ouch. He's fighting hard, and it's paying off. A man like that seems to have an endless store of energy. The Miz was able to get out of the way there. German suplex, but that's not all. Miz laying in those oh. by the Miz. What are we gonna see here? All on the apron, lifting it up into the ring. Bam! Suplex. Setting it up in perfect position, too. Oh, the reversal by the Miz.
but he's still got to climb the ladder to get the championship. That's the only way this match ends. He's very close to winning this thing, guys. Got to be fast here. Only to a good either four or five. Masterful execution by The Miz. And now that one's counter. That was impressive, Michael. process here, but you're going to have to move a lot faster. There we go. No matter how you feel about anyone's acting skills, this is a huge night for Trey. He beat a future Hall of Famer in a pressure-filled, high-stakes ladder match at the biggest party of the summer. As far as I'm concerned, Trey deserves the role and our respect. Now, that's nice, but as of now, I'm officially boycotting rank and file four. Sorry, Brooklyn. I'll just have to catch you in your next film. So we got the Iconics with the WWE Women's Tag Team titles. So I think uh, we're on chapter 12. Hey, thanks for the assist out there. And by the way, now that I've officially got the part again, it's not too late for me to pull some strings and get you a roll. I think I'm cool with sitting this one out. All right, well, the door's open if I'm back for rank and file five. Although I heard R-Truth pitch the producers on making it an office drama with him as a star, and it's under strong consideration, so we'll see. Oh, by the way, I left tickets for my real parents again. No luck, though. Still doing that, huh? Yep. And who knows, maybe if they're not WWE fans, then they'll see me in the movie. Can't hurt. Yeah, I guess. Hey, before you go out for your match, you mind signing my script? <laughs> sure. May you always have a happy Thanksgiving. See? It is catching on. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Let's continue to the story. Can you believe they're all the way up to rank and file seven now? No, I can't. I thought they would have stopped making them after your performance. Wow, didn't realize this was a roast. No, it's just that you definitely had some interesting priorities earlier in your career. First, it was the movie. 
Then you were obsessed with getting your own action figure. It was on the list since day one. Yeah, which made you super jealous when I got one before you did. Remember this? Are you still a little bit jealous? No. Are you sure? I think you're exaggerating how I reacted. <laughs> really? Because that's not how I remember it. That's pretty cool that uh, my career players get to be the action figures in a video game. Check it out, my first action figure. Pretty cool, right? Awesome. They really nailed the detail in your face. You didn't even really look at it. Yeah, well, you know what they say about action figures. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Literally no one says that. Wait, are you jealous because you don't have one yet? No, I'm fine. Okay, look, I get it. This was more your thing, but it's just an action figure. It's more than that to me. Think of how you felt when I won a title in WWE before you did. It's like that, but ten times worse. Comparing titles to action figures might be a little extreme. But if it makes you feel any better, I'll wait and let you cross it off our list whenever you get one. No, it's fine. Cross it off. You earned it. I see you got your first action figure. We've Where's had, like, 30 now, so it's kind of boring at this point. Where's yours? I think he didn't get one. <laughs> well, that's awkward. I think even, like, Tom Phillips got one. He doesn't really deserve it. <laughs> well, that's true. He's lucky even to be on the roster. <clears throat> Sorry, we got sidetracked with a private conversation that had absolutely nothing to do with you. But since apparently you don't have an action figure, we like to give you ours. Happy Rusev Day! Do you think he heard what we said? Who cares? He's a loser. <laughs> I heard he freaking jerks, and if I had an action figure of my own, I would team up with Red's action figure to kick your action figure stupid plastic butts. Or even better, how about we take them down in real life? Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess we could do that. So I guess we're going to have Lana and Rusev versus Casey Rogers and Robert Jackson. WWE superstars end up facing each other in the ring for a variety of reasons. Tonight, Red and Trey are squaring off with Rusev and Lana because of, well, action figures. But from what I hear, Trey was thrown a tantrum because he didn't get an action figure and then was apparently offended when Rusev and Lana tried to graciously give him theirs. Hey, I can relate to Trey. I mean, you guys have them, but when am I going to get my own action figure? Never. Never, ever. Because nobody wants that, Saxton. Really just laying it in. He has become relentless at this point. Yeah, he's one of the most energetic performers in WWE history. 
Looking a bit surprised by this assault. Lana exhibits superior strategy and intelligence and is incredibly beautiful. But the ravishing Russian chooses to use her talents for evil. And what a reversal from Rusev. So many different styles on display here in this mixed tag team match. Rusev showing such creativity. Rusev's playing it up big time now. Byron, you mentioned this earlier, and it should be remembered that Lana is a highly educated individual, bilingual, and instead of using her skills for good, chooses to utilize them and guiding Rusev on a brutal path of destruction. Lana embodies beauty, intelligence, and ambition, something that the WWE Universe and most people in general know absolutely nothing about. Hey, WWE Universe, keep doing the line. It's only going to make life harder for your beloved heroes. Oh, wow. in the corner. Overhead suplex. He's been quickly taking control here. No doubt he is a force of nature. What a clothesline. Shoulder tackle. German suplex, but that's not all. He thinks he has it. Going to take a different approach here, I guess. I don't know why. And what a reversal from Rusev. Incredible impact. The Bulgarian brute. It looks mm. like Rusev is looking to put the finishing touches on this matchup. And the ropes save him there. I don't think people realize just how difficult it is to make your way to the ropes while being in a... This may very well be it. in off the tag. Oh, man. It's 
Solana with the offense. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Faltering some. Ooh, what impact. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Oh, my God. to stay in this thing. Well, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep, GTS. Night, night. Shoulders down for the count. Perhaps thinking something else here. Straight punch. Jar. Charge here. She's on the attack and on the move. Oh, a front thrust kick. Seaman running knee strike. That is going to hurt. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Look at this. Elbow drop. It's Lana with the offense. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. Whoa, a lot of able to avoid damage. Straight punch, nothing fancy. Right across the face. Don't tear the features, clean off your face. Changes her fortune there. Oh, sweet. Nicely done. That offense taking a toll on her. I don't think this is the best time for Lana to be crowing like this. Ah, oh, running knee lift. Nice job by Lana. Gets out of the way. And fast. Oh, she's not looking good here. The first thing she needs to do is somehow block. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Oh, this 
not going to be pretty. Baron can run up. Oh, grief. She's trying one more time. Go to sleep. A much-needed big move. You never want to be on the receiving end of one of those. Here's a cover. One, two, three. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. Here are your winners. That's a big win. So guys, I think I'm going to end this video right here. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments, leave a like, share, subscribe, favorite, and we will see all of you guys later.